Good evening, everyone. I'm Mr. Chukwe Emmanuel. I'll be taking you on a short session, on a demo session, on how to use the PCB Kate application. So I want you to stay tuned and also see how I take you on this demo session. Now, first of all, what is the PCB Kate application? Now the PCB Kate application, the Kate is K-A-T-E, which is Knowledge Management Application Training and Education. Knowledge Management Application Training and Education. Now this application helps every trainer on how to assess various course materials as assigned to them on the PCB platform. So just kindly follow. I'll be sharing my screen for easy understanding. Okay, now you can easily see my screen. Once you launch the PCB Kate application, first thing you see is the login details. Now these login details are the same login details on your PCB platform. So you first of all do what you input your email, then you input the password that was assigned to you on the PCB platform. Then you click on your login. Okay, now this is the interface of the Kate application, PCB Kate application, you have my course, my courses, feedback, notes, help, and about. Now, and how do you go about um, assigning or assessing these materials? First of all, on your left-hand side of your screen, you will see the classroom and the e-learning. What you do first is to click on the classroom now on the classroom, you'll be able to have access to the various courses that are available on the PCB platform. You can easily see them as I'm scrolling down. Then one unique nature about the Kate application is that once you have not been able to link a course to your Kate application, this application can easily help you do that. What you do next is first of all, select the course of interest or the course that you intend to have the training on. Then what you do on it is click on the course. Now this is not going to display those details because all the courses you've seen here have already been linked to this account. So once you click on the course name, what you're going to see is, do you want to link this course to your kit application. Now you will see a response of yes and no. So all you need to do is to click on the yes and all, once you click on the yes, the course automatically is added to your course details on the piece on the kit application. Now, how do you assess the informations of such a course? Now um, you have, um, a few objectives that have been made available on every course and also the course material, that is the course content of every um, course training that you intend to follow. So once you've been able to link this course to your case application, all you need to do is you click on that same course, you will see the days. If the training is to take one day, two days, three days, four days, you will see it um, on that particular course. Now, if you want to get um, possibly the objectives of the first day of the training, now you can easily watch, you can see on this, the ISO 45001 transition course, that is um, on, it's an English, and the course will be taken on English language and is the version 1.3. Now you see there, you can see the days and how many days you can see one, two days, and you can see view course price. 
So if you want to get the objectives of the first day of the training, all you need to do is click on day one and you wait, allow the platform to load the details of the course on the day one. Now you can easily scroll down and beneath it, I want to believe you'll see my screen where you have schedule for day one. Now on the schedule of day one, you can see the objective of um, the course details of the day one. You can see section one, zero one, which is course objectives and structure, um, section two, standard and regulatory framework. And this is applicable to every other um, courses that you've been able to select and then add to your PCB kit application portal. Then taking you back to um, the view course files, this is where you can have access to the slides that will be used for the training of the particular selected course. Now, all you need to do is view courses or view course files, and this displays automatically. Now, all what you can see under the slides in PDF, you can easily go on the one, click on the one, and at the top right hand side of your screen, you will see download file. And once you click on the download file, the slide that will be used for the day one training will automatically be downloaded into your system. And you can have access to such a file any moment, anytime at your leisure. And under the course files beneath, you can just see um, the various course files that are attached. And according to what you're looking for, you can easily click on it and then select whatever information you're looking for and then download same appropriately. Then you can easily, beside the download, you can just click on the reverse arrow, which will take you back to the classroom details. And then you can see click on back to my courses and then you, it will take you back to your classroom where you have all the courses that you've been able to link to your kit PCB application, which is also available for use at any given point in time. Then on top of your screen, you can see the feedback. Now on this, you can easily use this feedback menu to give feedback to a seller of PCB or maybe how you feel about the particular course you register or if you have any questions or whatever thing that you need to give back to PCB. You can easily use this application, the feedback option, and that will enable you to give in your feedback based on what you observe. And this also is very unique because you can also use the platform as well to make notes um, in the process of your learning. And you can see help where you have a lot of questions um, related to PCB as well as the PCB kit application, where you can easily assess the help and you can have answers to your question with ease. And I want to believe all these questions on the help section have been made um, available for easy access and also understanding. I want to believe first of all thing you have to do is um, ensure you download this application and put in your email which you use to register on the PCB platform, the passport you use to register on the PCB platform, and you click on the login. It will take you directly to the dashboard where you have my courses, feedback, notes, help, and about. Then you have to go to the classroom Pick any course of your choice and then add it to your um, course bank and then you can easily have access to all the materials relating to that particular course. I want to believe this will help you and also for better understanding. Thank you.